you guys are in the other room. Uh, while the judges are uh, getting up to go deliberate about the winner, uh, Nicholas Seek is here to uh, talk to everybody about some of the um, some of the great resources that are available in Santa Fe slash Los Alamos. Great, thanks. All right, we retired to the bar. Well, I'm super glad I got one of the judges because you guys have such a tough job. I, I, I don't envy your, your task at all. So great work, everyone. That was a fantastic set of presentations. So one of the interesting phenomenons that going that's going on right now is the advent of crowd finance. This is where essentially you have now. The world is democratizing raising money based on the merits of your product, based on the number of people who like you, who like your product. This is one of these phenomena that has completely upended the way traditional business is being, traditional startup business financing is being done. I raised 20 something million dollars for my company, Autitude back in the day, when I got that money from this tier one venture capital company, I said, Mr. Partner, how many, out of how many companies did you pick my company, order to you? He said, 1,000. 1,000, one in 1,000. I asked Jim Ginn, who was an angel investor, who put in uh, a few hundred thousand into our first round, out of how many companies did you pick our company? About one in 100. Kickstarter and Indiegogo opened the doors and GoFundMe, those are the big three right now, opened the doors so that anybody, anybody with an idea, a few screenshots of, of that product, a landing page, a logo, a nice video, all of these basic assets, is able to put it out there and ask the crowd for, for support. Whether or not, if you get that money, then then you can go ahead. If you don't get that money, well, what if you try again with a different idea? So this is something that's brand new and it's completely in favor of aspirational entrepreneurs like yourselves. The dirty secret with crowd financing is that 60% of Kickstarters actually fail, 90% of Indiegogos actually fail. The reason they fail is because, I believe it's because of lack of preparedness. My startup, Kick, uh, so, LaunchLeader.com LaunchLeader.com provides the aspirational entrepreneur with the resources they need to succeed at a Kickstarter or Indiegogo. Essentially, we've figured out the recipe that if you can rally your friends and family together to contribute to some essential tools, like a nice landing page, a logo, an explainer video, some Google AdWords marketing for traction, these few basics, then you have actual shot at winning on Kickstarter or Indiegogo or succeeding at one. We believe we can increase the failure rate by 50%, thus making your crowd financing. Anyway, so so basically it's a great tool for the aspiring entrepreneur to get into this wild, wild west of crowd financing. Mm -hmm. So please check out my website, Kickstarter, I mean, Kickstarter, no, it's not me. So launchleader.com, and we can help you with your Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaigns. And come by and grab a card if you want a copy of these videos. They're looking pretty good. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Brian, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but did you want to say anything about the SPDC and what the SPDC can do for these <laughs> fine young entrepreneurs in the uh... yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, I met a lot of you, but not everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Duboff. I'm the director of the Small Business Development Center, which is the um, a national organization or a partner program with the Small Business Administration here in New Mexico. We have 20 offices. Nationally, there are almost 1,000 offices. Um, and here in Santa Fe, uh, we are located at the Higher Ed Center. Uh, we offer uh, confidential, free uh, consulting and workshops and trainings for entrep 
entrepreneurs at all levels, um, startups, pre-venture, existing businesses, um, loan packaging. So we're a good partner with the incubator and um, many of the other partners, uh, resource partners in the community. And we have uh, a small staff here in Santa Fe and uh, a lot of experience and a, a great network to uh, provide assistance. So uh, if you have any other questions, uh, I'll stick around for a little while and uh, hand out some cards. Thank you. Justin, would you want to say anything about the Founders Institute or any other stuff that you're involved in? Um, sure, I guess I should become prepared for that. Bond and I can both do that. Yeah. Um, my name is Justin Green. Vaughn bon Macy over here and Sean uh, Patrick are the three of us are the leaders of um, Startup Santa Fe, which uh, we just received a uh, grant from the city of Santa Fe to create a website to interconnect this ecosystem. We're also going to be creating some other. Uh, foundational um, anchor points for uh, for the startup community. This will be either something in the co-working space, uh, in a mentor network, sort of a uh, um, an organized mentor network to get some of you that are great mentors in this community to be organized around certain specialty areas that would allow them to uh, to have, gain some more traction and have the right directional thing. Um, in the case of the Founders Institute, this is another one of our uh, startup Santa Fe's. Uh, programs that is uh, along the lines of Startup Weekend is an, uh, an accelerator program to uh, take uh, people and ideas and to push them through a world-class uh, Silicon Valley class of um, education program that would allow people to test their idea, um, get, it, uh, get some really good mentors uh, to shape them and to test it uh, and force them to really get some traction in about 12 weeks, uh, or 12 to 14 weeks. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a, an amazing program. Uh, what we've, uh, the people around the world, they've got one in, uh, they've got uh, almost a thousand around the world in the Founders Institute. And uh, as diverse communities as Afghanistan and a few chapters in Silicon Valley, and it's really a world-class program. We're gonna be starting up, we've had a few meetings in the past few uh, months. Uh, please sign up for it. We'll tell you when the next meetings are. We can give you more information about it. But if you go to startupsantafe.com, you can find out more about that. So thank you very much. Next meeting, May 4th at the Community College. <laughs> and they can just sign up at startupsantafe.com. Yeah. Is there anybody else that has any information for entrepreneurs? Yes, sir. Yes, so I'm Please up front. Yeah. Sorry. Everybody has to be up front. <laughs> <laughs> no get arounds. So we're running an event in Albuquerque next month in partnership with uh, CNM, ABQ ID, the city of Albuquerque, West, and SCORE. It's kind of, you know, you've done Startup Weekend now. What do you do next? If you're going to continue with this project, you need to keep the momentum up. You need to keep it going. We've got a two-weekend event going on, the weekends of May 8th and May 17th, the uh, second and third weekend in May. And I'll, I'll pass out flyers. It's basically, it's a startup weekend type event where everyone gets together and works on their projects. It's not for new projects, it's for ongoing projects. But if you've worked on it this weekend, you're already an ongoing project. <laughs> so please, I'll pass around some flyers as you guys can uh, check it out, take a look. Our website is catalystweek.org. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the second and third weekends of May. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them if you have questions. We're planning to host four this year. Um, this is the first one. The next three are all going to be after the summer. You're welcome. Oh, you have a question? Yeah. Okay. So existing businesses, right? Existing businesses. Well, you don't have to necessarily be incorporated. It has to be an ongoing project. Okay. So does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah. That's and we're all Great. ongoing projects. Exactly. <laughs> do you work with ABQID? We do. Yes, we're a partner with ABQID. I see. Uh, so you set you set goals. You work toward your goals, and there's presentations that end similar sort of weekend, and uh, there's prizes based on the best best goals, best execution, and best fail, best fast failure. <laughs> so best avoidance of you know unuseless things. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Excellent. Well, I hope to see you all next month. It's down in Albuquerque. It's actually the first public event 
at the epicenter, which is going to be the heart of the Innovation District in Albuquerque. It's in downtown? Yes, it's at the corner of Central and Broadway. Awesome. <laughs> So I'd be remiss if I didn't mention two things the incubator's got coming up. Um, on May 5th, we're doing... Um, up front. What's that? Up front. <laughs> 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 uh, May 5th, we're doing a uh, business forum. So we're inviting uh, all resource providers from uh, around Santa Fe to come and have booths here, as well as uh, representatives from Santa Fe County. So if you want to ask the county any questions directly, it just puts a, puts a face to... Uh, the circular phone calls that sometimes people get. Uh, so you can ask them about zoning regulations, uh, anything permitting, uh, and then also we'll have uh, SBDC, Score West, uh, Community Foundation, uh, a whole group, Sorry of Santa Fe, a whole group of uh, resource providers will be here. So that's May 5th from 4.30 to 6.30 here at the Incubator. Cinco de Mayo. Free. It's free. It's right. Free beer. What's that? Free beer. Free beer. You get one, you get half free Corona. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, on uh, May 13th, which is a Wednesday, we're doing uh, our Eureka Effect, which is a speed day night between small businesses and scientists from Los Alamos National Lab. Um, and this is a way to help fast track um, getting assistance to the uh, NMSBA, uh, which gives uh, $20,000 in uh, free overhead uh, and technical assistance to businesses. Um, and that, and this one, we're concentrating on manufacturing companies. So, and manufacturing is very broad. We're defining manufacturing as broadly as the state of New Mexico defines it. So it's anything, pretty much. <laughs> um, and so we have, uh, so some of the businesses that are signed up, we have um, uh, Santa Fe Spirits, uh, Kombucha Beer Company, um, a gentleman who's manufacturing toothpaste in Santa Fe. Mm. Um, so, and there's still spots open. So if you, you or anyone you know is a manufacturing company that would be interested in that, uh, you can sign up. There's an event for it. Say for it. You just search Eureka Effect. Is it a presentation or a conversation or? No, you. It's a speed date. So it's set up like a speed date night. So um, you, you and a scientist. If you have I'm a business owner, there's a scientist right across from me, and we spend five minutes talking to each other. I see. And then you move on to the next scientist when the. The, uh, yes. For, fortunately for me, I never did speed dating. So no. yeah. It sounds very uh, intense. It's not, not <laughs> uh, And so what it does is a lot of times you fill out an application at MSBA and try and get this free technical assistance, and they have to spend time going out there and trying to find one of the scientists in the labs to assist you. And this kind of cuts out that middle part. So you already have met somebody that you're interested in. You guys have connected. You've changed. You've exchanged phone numbers. You have a dinner plan, and you're gonna. Uh, and then they're gonna give you the free technical assistance. Have you done this before? Well, this will be our third one. Okay. We did one in uh, bio and life sciences, mm -hmm. and then the an original one was open to any kind of business. Any other questions? We have also a good uh, resource table here with a bunch of stuff that's happening and. Santa Fe and the surrounding areas, so please help yourself to get some information there. I just want to, can I mention Mix Santa Fe as well? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, so we have Mix Santa Fe, which happens every third Thursday of the month. Uh, it's a networking event that's been going on for five years. Everybody that arrives fills out a survey, and you get a free drink, and there's always great music. An average, about 300, sometimes 500 people show up. So they also have something called the Biz Mix, which applications just closed. This year, they have about $45,000 that they gave away. Last year, the winners were Paper Dosa, who opened up. They got about $15,000. The restaurant opened about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's jam-packed. The other local business was the Cheesemongers, um, which won, and they won about $10,000, and the next one down. So that's a great thing. You go to santafe.com, you sign up, and they, you can, you'll get or Facebook. But it's a great networking thing. It's younger. It's fun. And the website is SantaFe.com? MixsantaFe.com. And I forgot to say that um, it changes venue. And uh, so it's a bit Santa Fe Opera, it's been at breweries, it's been in St. John's Park, you know, St. John's Field, or St. John's College. So it changes venue every single time. And uh, different. there's always food and one drink. Anyway.
Anybody else want to say anything? The floor is yours. Yeah, so I guess I gotta go up there. Sorry, unfortunately. That's the, that's the rules. Hi, my name is Matt Ferguson. Um, a few of us in Albuquerque have uh, designed a, uh, a program for uh, techies that um, where you can sign up on a site called builtinnm.org. Has anybody heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it is mainly there for technical people to sign up and fill out a bio and a place for job listings. So any of these startups, if you're looking for technical people, you can go to builtinnm.org and search out some technical people. <laughs> so I'm an iOS developer, and I do pay 20 hours a week, and then I take on equity, sweat, yeah, sweat equity. And so there's a lot of people there that are, you know, they, they go for the hourly rate, and that's all they do. But you can talk to them, you know, and you may get some advice, and they may know somebody, and, and it's a connection for technical. So, so I'm sorry, are they students, or are they? No. There, there's, there's a lot of senior people on this site. Okay. And, and, and we'd like to bring in some people in, in Santa Fe, um, Las Cruces, and make it a place where um, somebody can go and find technical people. So we have a, a meeting uh, second Monday of every month at the UNM Law School at, at 6.30 in Albuquerque. And our mainstay there is kind of highlight our tech, people that are actually building tech in town or in the state, and at the same time, try to bring together jobs. Like if you have a job and you'd like to announce, I need you know, hardware, material science, or software, I need somebody. And then we have folks actually stand up and say, I, I'm ready for 20 hours worth of work for two months. So. <clears throat> How That's much does it cost? Method. What's that? It's nothing. Five of us have started this site, and it's just for that reason, keeping people employed. Um, we're kind of tired of people moving. You know, I get a job in Denver, and they, le they left. So we decided to create this website and then have a meetup that's kind of similar to what they're doing up in Boulder, uh, Boulder New Tech type thing. Yeah. Can you give us an example of what kind of Technicians, you have you said iOS programmers. Yeah, iOS. Like, like we got a couple Android. We just started it a couple okay. months ago, and we already so. have sixty um, bios <laughs> of just people with tech technology based. They they build stuff, they make a living at it, and they're either being educated, they're an educator of, of technology, and so we'd like to keep it centric to that, so that. Folks like some of these startups yeah. can have a nice array of choices it's to just right. contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So One more time on the website name. It's builtinnm.org. Okay, and we're all volunteers, and we don't have sponsors. And that's pretty much it. Is it just um, like software and stuff, or do you do like biotech? Biotech, if, if somebody is a, if somebody builds a technology, it doesn't matter, material sciences, software, you know, maybe a mechanical engineer. We actually had a mechanical engineer speak. He wrote an app for mechanical engineers. So, so any, great. Yeah.